On Monday, pro Fortnite player Tifu filed suit against his organization FaZe Clan and filed a complaint with the California Labor Commissioner's Office. Now, to help us break down what that means, we're going to bring in Miles Yim from the West Coast. Now, Miles, just so I get this right, I'm going to read directly from what Jacob Wolf wrote. He, uh, Tifu, alleges the team restricted his ability to pursue his profession and violated the California Talent Agency Act for its role as a middleman for his brand endorsement and appearance deals. FaZe denies this. But before we get into that, why don't you bring us up to speed on who Tifu is and who FaZe is? Well, Tifu is one of the most popular streamers out there right now. He made his name mostly through the emergence of Fortnite, which uh, is key because the allegation, the claim that he filed in California court, suggests that he was signed to this contract before he actually became the Tifu that we all now know and love. He has millions of subscribers, millions of fans, uh, and has already qualified in the solos part of the Fortnite World Cup that's upcoming in July. And this contract dispute with FaZe is fairly unprecedented in esports history. Now, Miles, uh, Tifu and his attorney allege that FaZe collects an 80% finder's fee on the deals meant for him. FaZe obviously denied it, saying Tifu has made millions under the FaZe organization. But beyond all that, Jacob Wolf spoke to attorney Ryan Morrison, and he says this is an unprecedented moment for players, a watershed moment that's going to help not only Tier 1 players, but Tier 2 and Tier 3 players with their contracts moving forward. What do you think? I agree with him, and I agree with the lawyers Jacob spoke to. It is a sad reality in the esports industry that for a while, we have had this sort of imbalance between organizations and the clients that they represent. The young gamers who, at their age, have probably never seen this kind of legalese, this kind of contract. And they're excited to play games for money. And they, or they're excited for their future as a professional gamer. They want to enter these contracts, whether or not those contracts actually favor them. So by Tifu's stature in this industry, the light is going to be finally shown on the kind of practices that have gone unchecked for so long because, well, quite frankly, esports hasn't been that big. It's growing now, and practices like these are going to be called out and are going to be solved, and I think that's an incredible net positive for the industry. Absolutely, Miles Yim, and thank you so much for all your insight on this. And for more on this story and other developing esports stories, keep it locked right here on ESPN.com esports.